Hello friends, welcome back to Joyful Half Acre. I'm Kim. It is the first day of spring today. I'm excited. I really wish it was spring weather today though, <laughs> but it is cold and windy here. I'm in Iowa and the weather is just not that good. It has been really cold here lately. We've had just the over the last two days we had temperatures down back into the teens and I just don't like it. I am so over winter. I am so ready for spring. So today I thought I'd just kind of catch you up on where I've been. I missed a couple videos that I wanted to get put out, but I have been really busy and kind of catch you up and show you some life updates, things, exciting things that are going on around here and just, yeah, share a little bit of my happy, joyful life with you all. So a couple videos ago, I asked for prayers for my mom who was having a surgery, a very complicated surgery. Um, going into it, they said it was going to be two weeks in the hospital afterward and three month recovery at home. And they were talking about maybe like rehab or nursing home care. I mean, it, it was a very technical surgery, kind of more rare on the rare side to remove some cancer. And so we went into it just thinking the worst, you know, expecting it to be bad. And God is so good. He has made her recovery miraculous. That's the only word for it is a miracle. She has healed quicker than the doctors thought she should. And it's just wonderful. She only spent one week in the hospital and then was is out and home and doing great. She's on her own and doesn't need help. I expected to have to help her, you know, a lot for a while. And it's just been a miracle. She doesn't even need to be helped. She can be on her own. She does have restrictions, you know, can't lift over a few pounds. And, you know, she should, shouldn't be leaving on her own or anything, obviously. But, I mean, she can do everyday things. Uh, and... Yeah, she's doing great. She was doing laundry the day after she came home just a couple days ago. <laughs> I had to help her like lift up, you know, wet jeans are very heavy. So that probably over the weight limit. But other than that, I mean, she could have done it. She did. We were just being cautious. But yeah, it's just a miracle. Praise God. Thank you. Any of you who prayed for her. I really appreciate it. Prayers do work. I know they do. And I have seen it firsthand in my life and in hers, this is just awesome. Thank you, Lord, and thank you everyone who prayed for her. So while that was the most exciting thing going on in my life right now, I wanted to show you some other things. This last two weeks, while I've been, you know, with my mom at the hospital and tons of appointments and just been focusing on her, that's why I missed a couple videos. I was driving it's an hour and 15 minutes to the hospital she was at, so every day I'd have to drive there, spend time with her, and then back, which I am so glad I was able to. Uh, we actually got lucky and my husband had a layoff, which I know that's not lucky, but in this case it was because he was able to be here with the kids while I needed to be elsewhere. What a blessing, God's good. If he was gonna have to have the layoff, I'm so glad it happened these last two weeks. But since he was home, <laughs> One day I came home and he started a project. Let me show you this project he started. He tore out up here, which we had discussed and I did want it done. I thought we were going to do it this summer, but you know, he had time, so he started doing it now. And we are going to make this into cabinets. We are going to finish it off and put doors, you know, it will be cabinets when we're done. This is the rough start, but this was all just like wall. It just looked like the wall. So it just wasted space. So I thought we would use it. The reason we need to more cupboard space, cabinet space, is because this cabinet is going to be gone because I'm getting a dishwasher. Woohoo! No more clean dishes on my counter or dirty dishes in my sink. Yep, my house is a mess today. I gotta get caught up. But yeah, no more dirty dishes all over and clean dishes all over. They'll be in the dishwasher. That's gonna be a nice upgrade. And we're getting our dishwasher at the end of this month. We ordered it from a, a business here in town. It's local. I love dealing with it because it, if 
there's any problems, they'll come out and look at your appliance for free. So I like dealing with them. So even if I have to wait a little bit, when it's worth it. When we got our refrigerator, we had to, just this last year, uh, wait like six weeks. But it was nice because then when it came in, I know that if I have any problems, they will be able to f help me fix it. So that is so exciting. I'm gonna have a dishwasher and not have to wash dishes every day. Just maybe the big ones, but oh, it's gonna be so great. I'm excited. We had one once 15 years ago, but it was a used one and it did not get the dishes clean. I think I used it maybe a half dozen times and gave up on it because if I can get them cleaner, washing them by hand, I'm gonna. So this is an exciting new thing. All right, another fun thing, since it's spring, I started plants in the house a few weeks ago. I showed you all that in a video. I'll put the link above. And they are growing so much, I had to repot some already. These are tomatoes. I had them in smaller pots. They were in, you know, just the plant starts like this. This is my peppers. I need to get them repotted also. Um, my A lot of my hot peppers and different weird ones didn't start, but the those back there are like green, yellow, red peppers, so that's good. But yeah, I need to still repot these and these. <laughs> but look at that, tomatoes, and I'll show you the rest of them also. I actually had to get a, another greenhouse because these are all tomatoes also. And I needed another greenhouse in front of a window for them to get sun. I have 100 tomato plants now started. So I'm gonna have lots of tomatoes this summer if they all keep going and I can keep them alive and keep them hardy and get them planted out and alive. I'm hopeful. I have more time this year, I feel like, and I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to actually keep them alive and I'll bring you all along on this journey because I am not the best gardener, but I try, and that's what matters. And if anything fails, the chickens will eat anything. <laughs> Another thing I really need to get repotted is these flowers. Marigolds, nasturtium, bachelor buttons, status, tatis, carnations. We got lavender, echinacea, Zinnias, straw flower, daisies, snap ground, dragons, and bachelor buttons. These all need repotted as soon as possible, actually. Sometime within the next day or two. Yesterday I went through and looked and saw how tall they were so that when I repot them I'll know what to put on the edges of the pot and more closer to the middle because they're tall or what to put together because they're about the same size. I don't know if you've ever heard of green stock planters. I've seen them in like Roots and Refuge Farm and uh, Justin Rhodes and just their videos and many more. Um, the Fit Farmer, I think, maybe. I don't know. I like watching his videos. But um, they have the green stock planters a lot of the time. They'll have like affiliate links and stuff. But they're kind of expensive. A little too expensive for me. But they are the same concept as these. These, what you do is you put them together like this and they stack and I found these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five each because the Dollar Tree isn't the dollar anymore <laughs> it's a dollar twenty-five tree they just stack up just like that and you just stick them outside and plant in each of these holes and it gives you a vertical place to plant I was able to get 13 of this color that they had. Um, they also had some tan and some brown. And I'm going to use these one, i um, gonna have like seven together and then six together. Kind of messes with me. I wish it was seven and seven, but <laughs> that's all they had. And I didn't want one of a different color. That would just look weird. So I'll have a stack of seven with some herbs in it probably. I'm gonna do all sorts of different herbs. And then I'll have a stack of six. I think I'm gonna put some flowers in that. Something I did with these, I had my husband drill a hole in them and I'm going to put a dowel down through it as they're stacked up. That way in my horrible wind out here at my house, 
it won't be knocking them over. I know the soil will help hold it in. Oh, hi Vader. You want to be in the video? <laughs> He's just nosy. This, but uh, the wind's terrible out here. I can show you right now even, you can see one of my trash cans is blowing away. <laughs> you can also see there's still ice in the driveway. It's spring, I don't want ice anymore. Anyway, that was a little tangent, but see, it's just so windy out here that I will have to support these in the middle. But I think that'll work, just putting a large dowel through it. It will help hold them together, and then with the dirt, it should be heavy enough. I hope. We'll see. If it doesn't work, hey, I tried it. It was $1.25 each. I bought 13 What is that? Less than 20 bucks. So... It's worth it to try. Another fun thing I wanted to share with you all, last week it was Pi Day and I actually videoed because I intended to make a video, but then the week just flew by busy <laughs> when you're traveling for two and a half hours a day and trying to deal with family and other things, it's busy. So anyway, I never got the video published. So I'm gonna put in here, show you our Pi Day pies that we made. If you don't know what Pi Day is, it is March 14th because Something to do with the circumference of a circle or the ratio of the, I don't even know. I'm not a math person. But pi is 3.14159 and then infinite numbers. So I do know that much. And so 3.14, March 14th uh, is pi day. So we try to always have pi. I have one son who on, when he was a teenager, he memorized pi up to 400 digits, three or 400 digits, which is just awesome. He's a very smart kid. So we try to always celebrate pi day. I even one year made them all shirts. Uh, this was back before everybody had a cricket. <laughs> Nowadays, everybody can make their own shirts and stuff and you can find somebody online to make a shirt anytime. But before that was a popular thing. I made all the kids a shirt and I did freezer paper stenciling. You can take uh, freezer paper and like put it on a picture and trace it out and then cut it out with like an exacto knife, your image. Put that freezer paper on a shirt. Yeah, then the holes where you cut out, you iron it on there. Yes. <laughs> and it sticks when you iron freezer paper on a shirt, it sticks. And then you can paint over it and then peel the freezer paper offer and yeah it was fun I made one that had like the pie symbol and then I made one of my kids it had the pie symbol and then it had the numbers like wrapping around the shirt that was fun uh, so anyway we like pie day around here and that pie was delicious yes we did cheesecake instead of pie but it works the same. It was in a pie pan. That's all that matters, right? So that's what's been going on around here. We've had lots of fun, exciting things with the cabinets. And let me tell you, when you tear out plaster, because my walls are not just sheetrock. They are sheetrock with plaster over them. I swear it's like concrete. This house will never fall down. And so when he tore it out, it was sheetrock and... oh, Somebody wants love. And the plaster. And... That is so fun to clean up. <laughs> yeah, even if you uh, try to prepare good, you still get dust everywhere. It, yeah, that was fun, but it's mostly done. Now, when we do the rest of it, it will be more minimal mess, hopefully. But yeah, we got that done. <laughs> His tail. Vader is love-starved half the time. And praising the Lord that we have had so much good happen with my mom healing and prepping for spring and just excited. I'm not sure I've shown you my baby chicks, which are not really babies anymore. They are growing up fast. They do that, don't they? Yeah. I've got this cardboard on the front of this so that my cats don't attack them. But yeah, I've got nine baby chicks in here. They're, I think they're leghorns or something like that. It was the only ones I could find because there is a shortage on chicks right now. But yeah, I need to feed and water them. I think they're waiting for me. And I've just got them in this dog crate in my bedroom, which is real fun. They are about ready to be moved out. 
but when you get chicks, they have to be kept really warm, you know, they have to be in a warm environment and I don't like using a heat lamp. I just never have. So I had them in my bedroom, which is the warmest room in the house. And then I had a heater in there that I kept on for the first day or two and kept lowering it. And anyway, yeah, they've been warm and they are about ready to be kicked out of there because they are old enough that they can deal with the cooler parts of the house now. Get them out of my bedroom. I'm sick of the smell. I've had a runny nose since I put them in there. It is definitely too cold to put them outside, that's for sure. So they're going to be in here for another couple weeks probably. But actually that reminds me of another fun thing. When they do go outside, they will not be in this uh, chicken shed greenhouse with the other chickens right away. I'm actually going to make them a spot in our old goat barn because we are currently, you can't tell it, but the other side of the roof has new metal roofing on it. This side is going to get done as soon as it warms up. He had one night stay, got half of it done and all the pieces cut. He's just got to do this side yet. It has leaked since we got it from the neighbors. We actually bought that green or the goat barn is what we called it because we did have goats for $200 from the neighbors and they delivered it. So great deal. I don't mind that it leaked some, but it's nice to be getting it sealed up now and then we can have the chickens in there and they won't be getting wet at all. So excited for that. And what's nice is the tin that he got, the roofing material was um, actually kind of free because my husband traded an old car that he got for free for the tin <laughs> that he's getting for free. It's just, it's so nice when things work out like that. You know, you can trade things and do work for somebody, you know, in lieu of payment, just get something. It's just great when things work out like that. So that is a project that is half done and maybe this weekend it might be warm enough to finish it, I hope. So thanks for watching this little update video today, friends. I am just feeling so blessed with everything that has happened in the last couple weeks, how good everything's turned out, you know, to not be sure what the next few months is gonna look like, whether somebody's gonna even live, and then to be shown a miracle, miraculous healing. Um, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna hold, but I am praising today that this is the way it's going. And that's what matters, just focus on today and you never know what troubles tomorrow will bring, but it doesn't matter because with the Lord, we can be joyful through anything, you know? So thanks for watching today, friends. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and continue to join me, join me in this joy-filled life. Thanks, bye.